Hi, everybody. This is Marilyn. Do we have any audio on this right now? Um, I hope we do. Yes, maybe. Yes, we do. Thanks, Ezra. Um, this is Marilyn, everybody, and it's uh, almost noon. This is the noon edition of Welcome to My World. We had some technical difficulty this morning, so we um, we didn't get this morning's My World done. But we have certainly had a lot of movement in these markets. And for those of you who were with us in August, it was a little bit different then when we were all sitting here wondering if any trade would ever show up. But things change and the markets change and they certainly have been volatile to say the least. So what we have here is um, we still have a, a fairly high VIX. It's trading 25 and a half now. Um, and the, the uh, indices, at least for today, seem to have stopped this uh, enormous downdraft they were in for a while. It, for those of you who watch currencies, the Canadian dollar and the Aussie dollar today have had a, they have been real happy campers. There was some great trades on those two currencies as well as crude oil seems to have come out of its doldrums, at least for today. If you um, pay attention to the, cor the correlation between the U.S. dollar and the euro, today was a classic day of when the U.S. dollar goes up, the euro goes down, and now they are trending a little bit in the opposite or at least making some sort of a correction back to where they they were. Gold has been a little choppy today. And uh, I see the bean traders should have been happier for today. We've got um, Brent back up to at least almost parity with West Texas. Um, for those of you who are who are trading, uh, I know Lori has just been on a, a mission here to mark up a YM chart that she's putting put in the room. So try to retrieve that because she's just marked it up with her favorite 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 trades, and I think it's a a good educational thing. I know I'm very interested in looking at that to make sure I understand exactly what she's seeing. So, um, tomorrow morning we have a little bit of news at uh, 8.30 that will affect the CAD. It's the Canadian CPI and retail. So at 8.30, if you trade oil or the Canadian dollar, you kind of want to be aware of that. Other than that, um, this afternoon has been very, very uh, busy. It's now getting into a more of a trend because earlier there were some choppy times. So when it's one way in the morning, it tends to be a little bit the opposite in the afternoon. There were people making some uh, requests for help, I think, and and expressing some difficulty in trading this morning. Earlier this morning, it was a little uh, difficult to read. But anytime that happens, just back off, sit back, and wait because it will it will get better. We'll just have to, you know, be patient with it. So this has been my view from my world in Apex land. And I will see you all tomorrow. This is brought to you by Apex Investing. Thanks.